Uh, I just spent $45 on this and what Marie has over there, actually. I'll go through my stuff. Mine was $15. i am sure Marie did way better than me. Um, got a Doors 8-track. I'm going to just put it on whatnot with a Joe Jackson 8-track. I charged, like I said, $15. For Best of Tom Jones. Who is this? Oh, uh, this is actually... Yeah, this one was signed. Alex Fox. Never heard of it. Elvis sealed. Doesn't matter. Shouldn't make it any more valuable. And Elton John's greatest hit. Sealed. I think I had a net, one of these sealed a little while ago. And it's not even worth that much. So these I'll probably sell for like two or three bucks. This since it's signed. Maybe more. And I want to try the 8-tracks on whatnot. Especially the Doors one. Um, I was there. When I was looking at this stuff, there was a guy that uh, was buying this stuff but I'm sure he took everything of a serious value because he says he, he puts it online and I mostly don't put stuff like this online I mostly put it on uh, at the flea markets I got a car a CD with the Vargas uh, one with the Vargas cover the cover's a little waffly but the records the records were good um, Kinks low budget what did you say low budget Say it again. I'm on a low budget. And of course, Springsteen, Darkness on the Edge of Town. And you know, it's weird. They, they, I don't see any of the songs for low budget, but Adam Raised a King, Badlands, Candies, all good songs. Yeah. Alright, uh, what'd you get, Marie? I put them so you can see them. Okay. Hey, you want to put them on the record? Little platform. Um, there you go. You got a lot of sparkly rhinestone. Yeah, these things. are Rivoli earrings with so the you have a Rivoli skull. section. Yeah. Then I have the bunch are swar these are all Swarovski, all, all these, these? Okay. except for this topaz one. This is uh, Christian Dior. Nice. And then these are gold with onyx. That's actually great. Um, uh, but these are all vintage Swarovski. There's they're marked S A L. Okay. Um and I got these are buttons, but they're like the Rivoli I see. buttons, but they're clear. Yeah, clear. And then this, I don't, I have to test it to yeah, see it's if it's weird. silver. It I think it's it silver. It has a little name tag on it. The, Can you figure it, it out? It says Tanti Aguri or something. I will figure it out. Um, Tanti Aguri. I paid 30 bucks for it. Okay, pretty good. Yeah, you did good. Um, it looks like you got at least 10 pair of earrings. Well, I'm going to put them on as lots. Yeah, well, that's a way to do it with that stuff, you know. But, okay, so that's our first sale. Uh, let's see if we find anything else. Wow, we got some deals. Um, this is Baccarat. He charged me 15 I don't see any damage. I think this is worth at least 90 Because I saw one that was up to auction, and there had been 90 What's with the cat? It's Lily. Wow. It's me five bucks. Sweet. I can't look at it. How's a tail? You know, it's hard to tell. It's probably all right. <laughs> Look how dusty it looks. It's probably yellowed. This is Sevres, France. And usually their glass is no big deal. But this one's very modernistic. And it's signed by P.H. Jean. I don't know. Can you see that? Hey, yeah, look. Somebody has one of his necklaces on for 130 Whose necklace? The artist? Yes. Okay, you're going to show me that in a second. Yeah, Severs France. Normally, Severs France is no big deal. Oh, here it is. Something. Crystal D. Severs, it probably says. And the guy was saying, is it Severs or is it Sevs? And I was like, no, 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 it's Severs. And Sevs, he said, oh, yeah, Sevs makes porcelain. And he says, that's a big deal. This is uh, Tova Ever Love Ever Everlasting. I think this is like 40 bucks. And I think this is probably 40, 50 bucks. And I paid 15 for the two. All right, I'm going to go through your jewelry. Okay. What is that? It's like a little bug. It's like a spider because it must be uh, stuck is on, it a, a spider? on a... On a... Well, oh, no, no. It's, a, it's like a gnat or something. It's just flying around. Okay, so um, you got an eyeball ring, which is pretty cool. You said it's signed by an artist. Well, it's sterling silver, and I think those are sapphires. Nice. And I guess it's set in glass. Yeah. This is ivory. Okay. But I just noticed that one of them has a crack in it. Yeah. Well, you know, the beads are probably still 
Interesting. And it's, it looks like a short necklace. Maybe somebody can make it into a bracelet. This is Crown Trafari. Nice. Oh, that's an interesting looking piece. Yeah. Crown Trafari usually does and pretty good. And then this is a Nora. Yeah, do something. I got... Okay, there you go. Yeah, I think there was some schmutz on the lens. Hanora pearls? Hanora. Well, it's pearls. It's stone. It's gemstones. And, and it was just the bag for it? And that's the bag and the box. Oh, nice. You know, normally I got I'll that, that for six bucks. Yeah, so that's probably like 30 bucks, right? It's probably more than that. No, 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 no. Now this is Michael Dawkins. Michael Dawkins. It's sterling silver. Not related to Stephen Hawkins. And here's a similar. Oh, 125. And they're for 125. Okay. I got that for. Yeah, their prices I were reasonable. I paid six bucks surprised. for that and the ivory and the pin, the Trafari yeah. pin. I paid six. This I paid 15. That we paid 15, and that Marie said five. Um, normally, I don't mess with Sev, Se Severus. But um, in this instance, it was like, wow, well, it's really kind of cool looking. So we, and it's signed in more places than most Severus usually is. So we figured we'd give it a shot. All right. Uh, do you have time to go another sale? Mm. Okay. All right. Well, maybe one more. All right. We've been to that sale before. And I was just talking to Marie about how, again, we weren't there early. So there was spots where. They had it yesterday. Oh, they had it yesterday? Oh, okay. Okay. So then we're really late. So this is total leftover stuff. All right. Um, okay, so that that explains it more. Because I was like, the quality has gone like down. Um, this is a nice um, morning pin, kind of. Looks like it says something on the back of it, doesn't it? I think it's Austria. Austria, okay. So it's probably from like the 50s, earlier maybe. I see you got two silver crosses. Got a Taco Bell. Yeah, I see one's closing in. The other one is silver. Whoa, dude. It's like, hey, this guy almost rammed into us. <sighs> okay, I mean, they're nice. This is, uh, you said this is sterling, and what were the, the beads? Pearl, faux pearl, I mean, pearl. Well, they're freshwater fresh pearl, pearl and, and blue lace agate. Blue lace agate. And this is what, like a Murano? Yeah, I found that last minute. Okay. Okay, so I'll put this with your other jewelry. Did I give you a piece of jewelry? Are you yeah, holding? you did. I have, oh, look. See, there's one of those cars that the color changes when you look at oh, it. Oh, yeah. I, I totally didn't see that. All right, let me just, I'm going to put this in here. So you can put the pin in here, I guess. Wait, I'm trying to look at it. Oh, I see. I don't uh, even hit a light yet. No. All right, so let's look at that. And they had cassettes, 10 for a dollar. So I can sell these at the flea market. Anywhere from a dollar to um, $2.00 something like that and I tried some and whatnot and you can sell some of them and whatnot so basically what I'll do is I'll take them out to the flea market uh, I'll try and sell some and then I'll put some on whatnot I don't know. it's for when I do whatnots I think yeah, it says Austria. Austria. nice nice piece all right so I'm just gonna go through the jewelry I mean uh, this, this the cassettes that I got ten for a dollar so it's like it, it's like the price it was the price I wouldn't have paid a dollar for these. I don't. I don't even. I would have paid maybe a quarter at most, because it's just not the greatest music selection I've ever come across. Okay, so I'll basically I just take everything out of the bag and put it in the bag. Joe Cocker, I can stand a little rain. Joe Cocker had a very recognizable voice. He did a cover of um, um, "I Get By with a Little Help by My Friends." Um, a lot of people may or may not know who he is. Crosby still National. I worked with the guy that wanted to play his music all the time. Is he the one that did My Piano's Been Drinking? No, that's the other guy. Um, it's... I, I, I know who you're talking about. I it's, know some chicken song. Yeah, I, I, I know who you're talking about. Uh, Pretenders, He's which is okay. Uh, Crosby like Stills and Nash. Yeah, I know, I, know, I know exactly who you're talking about. He's done movies uh, lately. Roy and Robinson. And the photographer I was with would put on prints and it would get him crazy eric clapton he's like that's not real music it's like uh it's better it's, to listen to this funeral i know it was so depressing that. and i know exactly what you're talking about i'll have to look him up <laughs> later um doobie brothers like his his face is in you know i just was not a fa fan of his you know uh, abba greatest hits that's a fun cassette crosby stills and nash they actually had like three abbas but what the felt pad that's what you have to uh watch for when you're buying cassettes make sure the felt pad hasn't come across you can glue it back on, but it's like work. More Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Joe Cocker. So since I only paid like two bucks for all these, I'm like, well, then whatever. Who cares? Abba. Jim Croce. Oh, good. This is the best of Jim Croce. 
Yeah, uh, I think his songs were like a boy. Uh, uh, the one about the boy, just like me, where it's his father that grows. He grows up to be like his father, who never hangs out with his kid. He was like a folk singer, kind of Jim Croce. Let's see. I, I hate when they don't just put on the back what it is. So let's see. Uh, t- if I could keep time in a bottle, this is what I'd like to do. Uh, which way are you going, Mississippi lady? You don't mess with. You, oh, uh, his bet, his bet, his bet, Leroy Brown. That is. Oh, maybe that's not the right song. I think he sang that song. Oh, yeah, here it is on the side. Bad, bad, Leroy Brown. Baddest man in the whole damn town. Better than old King Kong. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Why are you like half a second behind me? <laughs> Did you not know the words? What? Because <laughs> I'm singing it and you're like. You're singing it too fast. You were singing it. Oh, I see. I, I, I screwed the tempo, is what you're saying. That's right. Yeah, all right. More Credence Clearwater Revival. Another Joe Cocker, as he became an. Uh, he was older here. Live, he, he's one of those guys who was vocals, like he had the voice, so he could do live stuff. Don't they don't like, like about live performances? They go, Hello, everybody, in your, I don't know, and just sing. Uh, Donna Summer, I don't know what songs to hear. Love, I love to love you, baby. The whole side, 19 minutes and 39 seconds, and side two, 19 minutes and 39 seconds. Full of emptiness, whispering waves, need a man blues, Pandora's box. <laughs> uh, full of emptiness. I've heard of that. Um, You're thinking uh, dirty. No, I'm thinking of the Pandora's box, the uh, other store that sells um, oh. what we sell. Paul Simon. Well, now here you go, guys. I know they're not watching this video, but Donna Simon did a song uh, with the name of your store in it. So maybe, maybe you could check it out. I- actually, I'm going to check it out. <laughs> I'll-, I'll listen to it on YouTube. And then, last but not least, Paul Simon. Still crazy after all these years. My little town, I do it for your love. 50 ways to leave your lover. Remember that? Do you think he actually, did he do 50 ways? Or did he just like sing 50 ways and then do like 7 ways? Getting yeah. in saying, no Don't need to be coy, Roy. Roy. Just listen to me. <laughs> There's more to it. Uh, don't need to be something Gus. <laughs> don't need to be Gus. Gus. Uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. I'm going to the store. If I find it in the store, I will show it there. Now we're on the road to get some lunch. Yum. All right, uh, small trade in. Not exciting. Rayman Arena, true crime. This, unfortunately, has the wrong game. It would have been a little bit better. No, this one has the wrong game. No, then this one was a... Wait a oh, yeah, Xbox version. All right. Um, I'm wearing the wrong glasses. Gretzky, 98. Hockey. Oh, this is the best game. Uh, this isn't half bad. It's no big deal. Hang time. And XG2. A fun game if you like racing.